Yeah. My side girl got a 5S with the screen crack. Still hit me back right away. Better not never hesitate. Don't come around, think you're getting saved. Trying to show the dogs brighter days. Got a toys trying to light the way. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hickory Ridge. Happy National New York Day. Seniors with reserved spots can start parking in those spaces on Monday, September 25th. Only seniors with those reserved spots may park in spaces 1 through 138 starting on Monday. Mr. Talbert will start ticketing cars without parking passes on Monday, September 25th. Are you a junior or senior interested in earning a college degree in education? Then the UNC Charlotte wants to talk to you. On September 27th, representatives from UNC Charlotte's education program will be here to talk to students interested in a field in education. If you would like to attend this presentation, please come to the guidance office to let Ms. Hawk know. Science Olympiad will be hosting an interest meeting this Friday, September 22nd, after school in Ms. Emanuele's room, room 407. Service Academy Day is on September 23rd from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at North Carolina State University. At this event, you can meet representatives from each service academy. You can speak with staff from Senator Tillis' office about the nomination process and ask service academy representatives any other questions you may have. For more information, please go to the program section on the Student Services homepage. If you are interested in trying out for the Boys and Girls Swim Team, there will be a meeting in Coach Barry's room, 6.32 at 2.30 p.m. next Thursday, September 28th. Make sure you have arrangements for a ride home at 3 p.m. If you cannot be there, be sure to see Coach Barry. Attention juniors and seniors, Catawba College will be here this Thursday, September 21st during Bull Time in room 522. Please come by to hear all they have to say and ask any questions. Cannon School in Concord is offering the highly regarded Princeton Review SAT and ACT prep courses at their location for the seventh consecutive year. Both courses include 18 hours of instruction from experienced, trained instructors as well as two practice tests, pre and post instruction that are professionally scored so students and parents can determine strengths and weaknesses, develop a study plan, and gauge process. SAT and ACT prep courses start October 14th and spots fill up quickly. If you are interested in taking one of these courses, please go to the Student Services homepage for more information. A free over-the-counter medicine giveaway will take place on Saturday, September 23rd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in A.L. Brown High School Auxiliary Gym. Items will include cold, cough, and flu medicine, band-aids, pain and allergy relief, vitamins, children's medicine, and much more. For more information, please go to the program section on the Student Services homepage. Juniors and seniors, mark your calendars. NC State will be here this Friday, September 22nd during bowl time in room 522. Please plan on coming by to hear what they have to say and get more information. Appalachian State University is hosting a Multicultural Perspective Students Day, which is a free one-day event that gives 70 select students from underrepresented populations a first-hand view of Appalachian on October 9th. Participants will experience our beautiful location, learn about our strong academic programs and merit scholarships, and explore campus resources and organizations for diverse students. While on campus, they will have the opportunity to engage with faculty, meet current students, and apply for admissions at no cost. If you are interested in attending, please go to the Student Services homepage and look under the upcoming events or ask Ms. Hoff for more information. If you are invited to take the PSAT, the last day to sign up is today. Turn in your permission slip to the guidance office and pick up a practice guide. Anyone interested in competing in the Trunk and Tractor Driving FFA Career Development event on September 28th, please stop by room 802 for permission forms and contest rules. Permission forms are due September 27th. Anyone that is interested in attending the FFA Regional Leadership Conference at Northwest Cabarrus High School on September 26th, please stop by room 802 for permission forms. Permission forms with a $5 registration fee are due September 21st. Attention seniors! Senior superlative nominations are available on the HRHS homepage today. The Google form can be filled out now through Friday the 22nd at 11.59 p.m. Only seniors are eligible to make nominations. Please get your nominations in as soon as possible. French Club will not be meeting this week. Our first meeting will be Friday, October 6th. Please go to Ms. C's HRHS page for more details on how to join French Club or apply for an officer position. Officer applications are due by Sunday, October 1st. No late applications will be accepted. Post induction ceremony for officers and members will be Wednesday, September 27th at 6.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. Members who are planning to attend must register with Mrs. Moss or Mrs. Jones by Monday. 
Family members may attend pizza to be served. No cost, but donations will be accepted. Attention all students interested in joining DECA. Come to the DECA interest meeting during first block on the 25th in 701 or third block on the 27th in 732 to learn about how being in DECA can benefit you. FFA officer meeting will be held during full time on Tuesday, September 26th. All FFA officers should be there. Your portion of the opening meeting PowerPoint should be completed before this meeting. The first FFA members meeting will be during full time on October 4th. And now for the video announcements. teams of six to eight males, both juniors and seniors. Sign-ups for this are going to be this Thursday and Friday in the Commons before school, starting around 7.45, 6.45, and going until about 7. Um, every player of your team will have to be there to sign up, unless a member doesn't have a first period in which they don't have to be there. Keep in mind that if you're going to be a to be together, this may sound like a lot of money, but it, it does include a customized t-shirt, and of course the money is going to breast cancer. Line. Um, oh, so practice. Practice is going to be, um, maybe, it's going to be next week and the week after that. Some dates to keep in mind that is that the preliminary tournament is going to be October 11th. That is the Hickory Ridge tournament between all of the Hickory Ridge teams. The winning junior team and the winning senior team will then go on to the countywide tournament, which is October 25th at Concord High School. Um, thanks for listening. Hope to see you there. Make sure you follow Cabco KOTC for countywide updates and HRHS Stuco for Hickory Ridge updates about King of the Courts on Twitter. Have a great day, Hickory Ridge.